Guys, I just bought one of the most rarest Pokemon card collections ever, and I got it for a major steal. So if you're curious on what's inside this collection, then just sit back, relax, and keep watching. What's good everybody, Dark Gold here, back at it again with another video. Now in today's video, it's about that time for another collection video. Now if you guys are not aware, I usually like to buy collections that are very cheap, but that have their value because that always makes for an exciting video. So with that being said guys, in today's video, I spent a total of one hundred usd dollars you feel me one hundred dollars on this entire pokemon card collection i did get it from a friend so that kind of explains why it was very cheap but with that being said guys let me go ahead and show y'all the box because it is a massive box and there is a ton of pokemon cards within Alrighty, guys so here is the box look at this thing bro it is mad serve it is filled with pokemon cards to the brim and also some other collectibles like funko pops and whatnot but it is all 100 percent pokemon card related with that being said guys i'm not sure how am i gonna fit the box on the setup itself i think i'm just gonna grab a handful of cards every time and i also don't know how long this video is going to be because i'm not lying when I said the box was filled to the brim, my guy. Like, it is literally an entire box filled with Pokemon cards, and I bought it for $100. So, guys, if you're just excited as I am to get into this collection, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and join the Ghoul Army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ghoul Army, you could be featured in a video like the individuals that you see on the screen but anyways guys like i mentioned in the beginning of the intro make sure you guys grab some snacks a drink because this might be a long video with that being said guys we're gonna go ahead and grab a handful of the cards and let's just get into this collection bro i might start with the collectibles which is not like the cards more like the toys and whatnot but we'll see We'll see what's inside because I have no idea what's inside either. So let's go ahead and start, shall we? Alrighty, guys. So the first thing that we have in the box is a Bulbasaur Funko Pop. And this is an absolutely addition to the box. I was not expecting on getting any toys, collectibles, and whatnot, but this is one of them. It's just your classic little Bulbasaur, but I am most excited about the second Funko, and that is the Pikachu Target exclusive Funko Pop was in the box, guys. Check that out, and like I said, remember this number. I paid $100 for this collection, and right off the bat, I believe this Pikachu goes for like 20 bucks, maybe even 25. Bulbasaur is obviously 8 to 10 dollars. So right off the bat, bro, we already have a 30 dollar value. So all we need is 70 dollars worth of cards and we're all set and we got our money's worth. But I can guarantee you guys this collection was worth it. So we got two Funko Pops right there. Very, very nice to see some Pokemon toys because who doesn't like Pokemon toys and collectibles? But enough about Funko Pop, guys. We got some actual Pokemon cards that we get to showcase. Like I said, man, I have no idea what to expect. And just by looking at all of the... Oh my god! I can already see a lot of heat, guys. I can already see a lot of heat. So with that being said, guys, we're just gonna go ahead, grab stack by stack of cards, and we're gonna see what exactly is in this collection so we got ourselves some black and white holographic vibes right there we got some hollows not bad not bad we got a japanese lissandre prism star and i believe all of these top loaders are front and back which makes this collection even crazier so check that out we got a latios 
and Lissandre. We got a Porygon Z holographic. We got a Santru from Bay Set, my guy. But y'all already know. Y'all saw this. Y'all saw this beautiful secret rare Leafeon GX. And look at this case, man. That is a very, very, very amazing case. I forgot the word I was going to say. Like hardware, but that wasn't the right word, so that's why I didn't say it. But guys, check out this pristine Leafeon GX. Look at the back, bro. You can tell that this card was well taken care of, man. Check that out. That is a very, very nice piece. I kind of want to put it as the star of the show because it's a beautiful piece and it deserves to have some type of spotlight, my guy. So we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the cards like so, and we're going to go ahead and continue, man. One thing I do want to point out, there is a lot of loose penny sleeves, bro. Like, there is so many scattered in the box. So if you guys see a lot of penny sleeves, like, fall as I'm showcasing the cards, you know why. But we got ourselves a Shining Arceus right there, man. And we got some Ashes Pikachus. Check that out. From the I Choose You movie. Let's see what else we got, man. We got a Zorark Fool Art Pokemon card. We got a Raikou GX, followed by a Pikachu promo, and then we have more Ashes Pikachus, and this one is actually sealed. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Let's see. We got ourselves some old school vibes right here from the EX Vintage Series Deoxys. Check that out. Oh my god! We got vintage vibes, and I'm talking vintage holographics, everybody. We got an Erica's Via Plume from Gym Heroes, I believe, or it might be Gym Challenge. I'm honestly not too familiar with the gym sets because I didn't really open them as much. But this is an Erica's Via Plume, followed by a Dark Gyarados pre-release. Hold up. Okay, so obviously we got a Vaporeon. I love you, but you're not that special right now. We got a Dark Gyarados pre-release card, bro. That is crazy. Is there anything in the back? We got a regular Dark Gyarados from the Team Rocket set. So there we go. We got double Gyarados action. What do we have behind this Vileplume? Okay, it's the Fampy, obviously. So let's see, man. We're barely on our first stack, and this is already crazy, bro. This is absolutely insane. We got a Shining Rayquaza, followed by a Zorark GX. And like I said, we have a ton of these loose sleeves just all over the place. We got an Oddish Holographic right here. I forgot what these cards are called. Let me know in the comments down below on what these cards are called, because I honestly... 100% forgot, but that is a very, very nice piece right there. We obviously have to put all of the heat over there. We got ourselves another Oddish from Jungle. We got ourselves a Trainer Pokemon League card of Regirock. And then behind it, we got a Vintage Horsey. That's absolutely crazy. We got a couple Ultra Rares right here of Lycanroc, Sceptile, and White Kiram. GX and then next up we got a Mew EX PSA graded 9. Y'all know I love my Mews. So this right here is absolutely amazing. Check that out, bro. That is a beautiful piece right there, man. And it's actually sleeved up. So that means the case itself is going to be pristine. Man, that is a beautiful card. One of my most favorite cards to ever exist but y'all know my most favorite Mew is the one from Dragon's Exalted hands down so we got another PSA card should we take down the Leafeon I think we should because the Leafeon isn't a PSA card and the Mew is so we're gonna go ahead and put the Leafeon right next to the heat that we have and next up we got ourselves a McDonald's promo of Psyduck and then we have an Eevee McDonald's promo and then we have an Apricorn Maker Fool Art, ladies and gentlemen, followed by a Tate and Lisa Fool Art. So we got back-to-back -back Fool Art action, bro. This is going to be an insane video. The reason why I say it's going to be an insane video, this is just the first stack, bro. Keep in mind, I paid $100 for this collection, 
And this is just the first stack that I grabbed. And we got all of this heat. And on top of that, like I said, we got a ton of these penny sleeves all over the place. So on top of all the cards, we're getting sleeves as well. So guys, let's keep the video rolling. Let me grab another stack because this is honestly too crazy. All right, guys, this is the next stack. And I wasn't kidding when I said there is a ton of penny sleeves, bro. Look at all of these penny sleeves. That is absolutely insane. We're going to go ahead and toss those towards the side. Let me go ahead and rearrange everything just so it's easier to navigate through the cards. All right, guys, I got the next stack all organized, sort of. Some of the cards might be upside down, but that's not a big deal. But let's see what we got, guys. We got an Oddish from Jungle. We got a Prism Xerneas. And I kind of noticed there is a lot of Oddish cards right here, so... You are going to see a lot of Oddish cards right now, but they are some very nice ones because this one right here is from a Heart Gold Soul Silver series. We got a Detective Pikachu holographic promo. We got a Jungle Oddish, so a lot of vintage vibes right here. We got another one of these like Oddish picture cards, whatever you call them. And then we have a Secret Rare Slowpoke and Psyduck GX, followed by a Poliwrath from evolutions but look at this secret rare bro just casually a secret rare thrown into the box my guy that is absolutely crazy but we got ourselves the polyrath and behind it we got a vintage magmortar diamond and pearl holographic bro check that out that is crazy we got a mimikyu hollow and behind it we got another mimikyu which is an actual promo and then we have more oddishes we got a machop Y'all see this right here? This Alakazam? We'll get to that in a second. Behind the Machop, we got a Grimer. So let's get into this Alakazam, my guy. Check that out. We got a base set vintage Alakazam, bro. That is not a cheap card. I can guarantee y'all that is not a cheap card. We got a vintage Alakazam with a Blaine's Vulpix right behind it, everybody. But that Alakazam, though, man, that is a very nice piece right there, y'all. Very nice piece. Let's see what else we got. We got Vicavolt action. Just one Vicavolt right there. We got a Pikachu and we got a Dragonite. Yo, is this top loader like yellow? How does a top loader turn yellow, bro? That is crazy, man. I'm more intrigued about how this top loader turned yellow. It's supposed to be a clear white. That's crazy, but we got ourselves a very nice Dragonite right there. We got a Diancie Prism, Eevee from Jungle, a Fool Art Japanese Holographic, followed by a Golem. And then we have more of these Oddishes, a ton of these Oddishes, way too much Oddish. If you're a fan of Oddish, let me know in the comments down below. But so far, guys, was this $100 purchase? Y'all be the judge in the comments down below, because I already know I already got my money's worth out of the 100 Like hands down already and we're not even halfway through the box bro we might have to do a part two but we'll see we'll keep on pushing all right guys for the next stack there is a lot of top loaded cards and y'all know when you see top loaded cards that usually means there is a ton of rare cards inside them and right off the bat we have a rare light flareon absolutely beautiful man absolutely beautiful i love the dark type pokemon and the light pokemon like the dark gyarados the dark rodicate the light flareon the light dragonair i love the concept behind that but check this out guys we got a light flareon followed by a chimchar from the diamond and pearl series we got a pikachu a growlithe another growlithe and then behind the growlithe we got a dark alakazam from Team Rocket, bro. Oh my god. And that is a holographic. Is that a swirl? Hold up. That might be a swirl right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But y'all. We got a holographic dark Alakazam. Squirtle from base set 2. We got a Mewtwo. Pop Leo. Magneton from base set, bro. Oh my god. We got a Pikachu from base set. Espeon GX. Sviper Shiny, so, ooh, that's a nice Raichu right there, man. 
That is a very nice Raichu. We got a Raikou, another one of these like yellow top loaders, which is absolutely weird, but hey, I'm not complaining. I love the cards. We got Metagross GX, Eveltal GX, Lapras, Holographic from Fossil, the vintage set, bro. That is crazy. A ton of heat so far, y'all. We got an Electro GX, Eveltal Japanese, Lycanroc Japanese. We got a Mimikyu promo. We got more GX cards. Oh my god, look at these GX cards, man. Behind that, another Eevee. Behind the Sceptile, we got a Litten. Ooh, check that out. We got an E-Reader card right here, bro, of Skitty. That is beautiful. We got a Hop Hip. Uh, behind that is just another Skitty. We got a Diancie. We got another Pokemon League promo cards right there. We got an Oricorio Regice. We got ourselves a Prism Latios. Prism Latios, fitting to have them both. We got a Gardevoir EX. Oh my god, look at this, guys. This one is packed. Oh my god, hold up. Let's take a look at this. We got a Gardevoir EX, Zora. We got a Mr. Mime GX Electrode Blazing. Oh my god. We got some McDonald's promo cards and a Shrifty GX. This single top loader had all of these bangers inside. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We got a Shining Jirachi and a Shining Mew. Oh my god, dude. I feel like I should have paid way more than $100, y'all. Oh my god. We got a Shining Mew, Shining Jirachi, Shining Ho-Oh. -Ho? Yo, we got a Sand Slash sticker. Casually, a sticker right there, bro. Oh my god. Guys, this Flareon top loader is loaded with cards, bro. And this Flareon holographic is a vintage jungle hollow. Oh my god. I don't know if I could take this, guys. We got a dark Tyranitar holographic. And we got a losing me promo. What is this? Is this like a sticker inside here? What's going on with that? It's a Chigglypuff. What is this? It's like a little coin circle thing. It's not a sticker. I felt it. It's like cardboard. We got ourselves a Japanese Oddish Sand Slash sticker. But guys, I'm curious to know what else is inside this top loader. Like, we already have a banger Flareon. Look at that, bro. That's crazy. Flareon EX. Eevee Holographic Promo, Flareon EX, an E-Reader Cyndaquil, Tyranitar GX, another one. <gasps> Tyranitar EX, yo! And yes, for those wondering, this card right here is 100% real. It is from the Pop series. Oh my god, I was hunting for this card. If you guys do not remember, a while back, I did a Pop series video where I opened pop series packs that contained this T-Tar EX, bro. And the fact that I have it right here on my hands is crazy, man. Look at this. One top loader had all of this heat. What on earth is going on, bro? I have no idea what's going on, man. A hundred dollars, y'all. A hundred dollars we got all this. I guess it kind of helps having friends that aren't trying to get into Pokemon anymore because then you end up with all of this. But guys, we still got a lot of cards left. Let me grab another stack because this right here is overwhelming. We might have to do a part two, I'm not going to lie. Or I might just do one extremely long episode, but let me grab another stack real quick. Alright guys, next stack is a bunch of sleeved cards right here, so let's see exactly what we're working with, bro. I'm not sure what can top what we just got, but we got ourselves a Flareon, we got some holographics right here. I am going to go a bit quicker on this stack because I don't want to take too long in this video, guys. We got a Diancie Prism, we got a Dedene, we got, oh, what is this? The Mewtwo advertisement or the Mew advertisement? Yep, it's definitely the Mew advertisement. But check that out, guys. Join the Pokemon Trading Card Game League. 
and earn a free Mew game card available January 8, 2000, bro. That is a throwback right there, my guy. We got ourselves an Electabuzz Black Star promo, old school vintage promo cards. We got ourselves some advertisements right here of the Iron Giant. I remember that movie. It's a very good movie. We got another one of these Mew cards. We got another one of these Iron Giants. We got a Mewtwo Black Star promo, my guy. We got more Mew. We got a Surfing Pikachu. Oh my god. Wait, this is the one from Evolutions. Never mind. But this one right here is a vintage Black Star promo of Flying Pikachu, y'all. Check that out, man. That is insane. We got ourselves another Pikachu just casually right there. A very nice Tyranitar from Heart Gold Soul Silver. We got another very nice T Tar right there, man. Check that out. We got Larvitar. I love Tyranitar, man. It reminds me of Godzilla. And it's just a very, very cool looking Pokemon overall. We got ourselves a Pichu, Pikachu. We got a Black Star promo of Pikachu from the first movie. Absolutely amazing to see all of these cards. We got a Sparky Holographic, which is a fake Pokemon Go card, but I don't care because it's the homie Sparky. If you know who Sparky is, if you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say, you feel me? We got a Lieutenant Surge's Eevee, first edition, y'all. That's crazy. Ash's Pikachu. We got some Team Magma, Team Aqua. Ooh. We got a Pop Series Jolteon holographic i know that's a very good card right there hands down that has to be a very good card but we got ourselves a leafeon first edition sabrina's abra thunder mountain did i just say mountain what the heck is a mountain dargool i meant to say mountain y'all this is a mountain we got a lance prism we got some movie cards is what it looks like so check that out guys we have a ton of these movie cards i don't really collect movie cards but since if I do get a lot of them in this video, might as well start a collection. You feel me? We got ourselves some Mr. Mimes right here. Pre-release card. Just a ton of heat, guys. Check. What? What is this? Yo, what is this? Guys, if you know what this Articuno is, knowledge your boy in the comments down below. Because I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. That is a beautiful card right there, y'all. Let me get a separate sleeve for this card because... Oh my god, that is a beautiful card. Like, I know I already said that, but... It's a very nice looking card. Don't get me wrong. The new generation is beautiful too, but... These vintage vibes, man, they hit different, y'all. They hit different. If y'all know where this Articuno is from, let me know in the comments down below. But let's see. We got a growl... Yo, we got some legendary collection. What on earth is going on here? We got a drowsy from legendary collection, y'all. If you didn't know, the reverses from legendary collection have like this firework holographic pattern, which is absolutely beautiful, y'all. And on top of that, we have a dugong legendary collection reverse. A secret rare Zorark. Oh my god, guys. This collection legit just keeps getting better. We got a Mewtwo GX, y'all. That is a secret rare, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. We got a McDonald's promo of Dratini. We got a Zapdos Hollow from Evolutions. We got several Prism cards. Prism cards for days, y'all. That is insane. We got a Mega Venusaur EX, Altaria, ton of Ultra Rares right here. More Prisms, more Ultra Rares, y'all. We got a black and white Mewtwo Holographic. Black and white Hollows right here, guys. We got more of these movie cards. Oh my god, this Mesprit is adorable. I love this card. I love it. And then we got a Cresselia Hollow from Diamond and Pearl. And then we have some more movie cards check that out the crystal onyx that was a legendary episode i'm not gonna lie but guys right now i'm overwhelmed and we still got a lot of cards to go bro it looks like in every stack that i grab there is literally banger after banger 
after banger, bro. Like, it just does not stop. So I hope you guys have your snacks because it's crunch time. We're taking a little halftime break. I'm going to go ahead and grab a drink. And I hope y'all grab a drink as well because we got some more cards to go through. All right, guys, it's crunch time. We got to keep the show rolling. And I grabbed another stack, and right off the bat, you see another PSA card, and you see a vintage Cedra pre-release card, bro. First and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at this pre-release card, because I'm curious on looking at it. We got a Japanese Reshiram GX. Check that out, bro. A PSA 9 Reshiram GX. Y'all know I'm a huge Reshiram fan, so this is absolutely crazy. Should it take down the Mew, though? I think let's just go ahead and change the star of the show because we haven't changed it in a while. And just look at the stacks of bangers that we have on the back, guys. It is absolutely getting ridiculous. But let's go ahead and see what's in this next stack, guys. We got a Misty Cedra. <laughs> Followed by a vintage holographic of Articuno. Dude, this is crazy. This is crazy. We got a Magikarp and Waylord promo cards. Double of those promos. We got a Reverse Flareon. We got a T-Tar with a Mimikyu. A Fossil Lapras with a Pikachu. We got some more of these Pokemon League cards. Another one of Buzzwell. Shining Volcanion. We got some more GX cards, and right behind it, some more GX cards, bro. We got a Vaporeon, a Shining Genesect with an Entei GX, bro. And then we have some more heat. Just a lot of heat, guys. Check this out. We got pre-release cards. We got GX cards. More pre-release, more GX, and then we got a Holographic Greninja. Followed by some evolution action right there with the Venusaur on the back. We got a Dark Viaplume with a McDonald's promo of Cubone. We got a Clefairy with a Wigglytuff. We got a ton of bangers. We got ourselves Glaceon, Raichu, Mewtwo, Sylveon. Bro, this is absolutely insane. And this one is going to be one of those loaded top loaders, guys. Are y'all ready? Okay. The first card is obviously a Regirock Pokemon League card. But we got ourselves a Full Art Entei. A Vintage Gyarados from Bay Set, y'all. That is crazy. That is crazy. We got a Litten. Pop Leo. A Black Star promo of Meow. We got ourselves a Nine Tails Vintage Holographic. Followed by a Turtonator, man. Why is it every time we look at these loaded top loaders, they literally have banger after banger stuffed in one top loader, guys? That is absolutely insane. And that is just another stack, guys. We still got more stacks to go. So let me go ahead and grab another one, guys. But I might have to take a little break because my camera is actually dying and I might have to charge it for a little. But that's not going to stop the video guys we're gonna grab a stack and finish off this entire collection in one video all right guys for this next stack that i grabbed we actually have a psa 10 pristine 10 first edition claire's mantine check that out in japanese the versus series i don't know which set is that exactly but that is a very nice piece right there psa 10 bro that is crazy. And let's go ahead and check out what else we got, y'all. We got ourselves a Cubone. Oh, brother. This is one of them loaded top loaders. We'll save that for last because those usually have heat. We got ourselves a Bonnet GX. We got some more Oddish cards. Full Art Alakazam action right there with the Mega to go with it. We got ourselves... Oh, my God. This Flareon is beautiful, man. Y'all. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these cards from the collection is your most favorite. Because for me, it's going to be very difficult to choose a favorite. But check this out, guys. We got a Flareon, a Dark Dragonair. We got a Black Star promo of a Mew with a Ditto Prism. 
We got a Zorark holographic, I'm pretty sure that is. And then we got ourselves a Lord Helix Pikachu sealed promo card right here, man. Check that out. We got a legendary collection of the Zygarde. I believe this was a Toys R Us promo. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. We got ourselves a Claydol holographic. And then we got a pack of sleeves, bro. We got everything in this collection. We got hollows, ultra rare sleeves, collectibles, literally everything. So let's go ahead and put that towards the side because those are just sleeves. And let's check out what this Cubone is working with. If I can get it out. Jeez, man. Come on, Dargool. You're stronger than that. Let's see. Okay. McDonald's promo Cubone. We got a holographic Latios and Latias, holographic Latios, holographic Latias, and we got a Mewtwo. So this one wasn't as juicy, but we still got holographics or better. Literally, holographics or better. Alrighty, guys, I am back once again. My camera was dying, bro. And then on top of that, the audio after 30 minutes on my like voice recording corrupted so there's a lot going on in this video ladies and gentlemen not only are we getting some amazing cards some amazing pools some amazing collectibles but then we're having some technical difficulties all in one video which is absolutely crazy but guys we're not gonna let that stop this episode we're gonna keep the show rolling and let's see what else is left in this collection because i can guarantee you there is still a lot of bangers. So let me grab one more stack and let's see what else is inside. Yeah. All right, guys. So next stack of bangers, man. Look at all of these top loaders, bro. Let's see what's inside here, man. We got a Suicune GX. More GX cards, bro. I'm like way too overwhelmed at this point. Like there is just way too much heat. We got a Mewtwo. Detective Pikachu, we have one of these like art cards from the, uh, they're like the recent mini tins Pokemon has been releasing. We got a Kadabra e-reader card right there. We got some more McDonald promo cards right there. A ton of Mickey D's, you feel me? We got a Misty's Determination full art, followed by a Pidgeot full art. Now we're hitting the full arts, y'all. We got a Mega Pidgeot. We got a lit in. We got some holographics right here from Sun and Moon. We got a pre-release card. Another pre-release card from Ultra Prism. Entei GX. Keep in mind, all of these top loaders are front and back, everybody. Literally, front and back. Check this out, man. It is non-stop. We got some vintage action right there. We got a Snorlax from Jungle. We got a first edition Ladybug right there. That is crazy. We got a Muck and a Lolan Muck. We got Detective Pikachu, Full Art Electrode. Ton of amazing cards right here, guys. Check that out. Oh my god, we got the Legendary Birds Full Art. I don't know why I got so excited about this card when I pull it like every time we open up Hidden Fates. But check this out, y'all. We got a Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Followed by the homie Brock's Grit. Looks like he's going Super Saiyan up in here. But it's a very nice piece, I'm not gonna lie. We got a full art Raichu. We got a full art Donald Trump. Shouts out to the president. You feel me? And then we have more of the Why are these top loaders yellow? Like, how do these top loaders turn yellow, man? But check that out. We got a ton of evolutions right there. Absolutely crazy. Followed by a Snorlax. So I'm going to be adding all of this heat to the pool pile. And it is looking absolutely insane literally three stacks of bangers right here you guys can't really see the one on the left but they are three stacks of bangers let's keep it going y'all because i'm hyped i'm still hyped man and for the next thing we got ourselves a little pikachu keychain right here where you can put in your key ring and whatnot absolutely adorable i believe this was from the pikachu collection box that released during the sun and moon era but check this out guys we have a beautiful Flareon holographic from a pop series and i accidentally dropped something and we got another one of these Flareon jungle hollows bro what i was not i'm not expecting another one but we got a second Flareon hollow from jungle that is crazy two amazing cards in one top loader bro that is insane we got an eevee 
What is this? What is this? We got ourselves one of these like hologram cards right there of Ekans and Arbok. We got a full Artoros just casually in the pile. We got a Japanese Necrozma. We got some vintage action right here. We got a full art baby girl. Check that out. That is a beautiful card. I actually really like this trainer. I'm not going to lie. We got a Pikachu. And then we have a Naganadel. I almost forgot the homie's name, but that is a Naganadel. We got a Blastoise of a Porygon. Another one of these Mew Hollows full art Pokemon cards from Legendary Treasures, followed by a Marshadow. And then we got ourselves a Growlithe and a full art Lana or Lena. I'm pretty sure it's Lana. Lana sounds more appropriate than Lena. That sounds weird. But check that out, guys. Very, very nice full arts right there, y'all. And then we have more of these Oddishes. A ton of Oddish Pokemon cards. We got a sealed promo of the Naganadel GX that came from Dragon Majesty, y'all. And we got more sleeves, guys. Check this out. Legit more sleeves to add to the collection. So on top of the cards, the collectibles, and all of that jazz, we're getting sealed products included you feel me which is absolutely crazy so guys after looking at this mini stack right here i believe we have one more stack of cards inside this box and that is going to be the end of the 100 dollars collection purchase so let me go ahead and grab that and let's see if we can end things off in a bang i mean the entire video is a bang but let's see if we get a bang bang a double banger Ooh, yo Okay, let me stop. Alright, y'all, before we get into the cards themselves, we do have some miscellaneous items, like this sealed thunderous toy. I believe, I'm pretty sure this is from McDonald's, but check this out, man. That is an absolutely beautiful product right there. And then next up, we got ourselves a Mimikyu keychain, which is equivalent to that Pikachu keychain, where you can only get this from a Sun and Moon pin collection box or a keychain box whatever you want to call it you feel me it doesn't really matter but guys we also have a ton of coins pins and all of that jazz check that out we even got some rare ones right here and then we have another one of these like vintage i don't even know what these are i'm not gonna lie to you guys but there is a lays logo so maybe you get this when you purchase chips i honestly have no idea and then we have a Lord Helix hologram card right there. Check that out, man. We got the homie Lord Helix in the cut. Y'all already know it's a blessing to see the homie Lord Helix. But guys, check out the final stack we're going to be looking at. That is a pretty, pretty big stack right there, guys. So let's see what exactly are we ending off this video on. So first things first, we got ourselves a vintage Cubone. Followed by a full art, bro. Y'all already know we're going to end things off in a bang. Like, there is just casually ultra rares all over this collection, bro. Check that out, man. We got ourselves some evolutions, an Oddish. A ton of Oddishes in this collection. Casually, a full art Metagross just in the middle of this stack. That's crazy, bro. That's what I mean by this collection is absolutely crazy, man. We got ourselves a Secret Rare Executor. We got a Lycanroc GX, some more GX cards left and right, a ton of Buzzwolves. We got Reshizard in the cut, followed by a Titar and Sableye. We got some Prisms, a ton of Prisms, some Detective Pikachu, and y'all already know we had to have more Oddishes. Oh my god, that is actually a lot of Oddish cards, I'm not gonna lie. And then it looks like we have a lot more movie cards, and check this out! We got the homie Todd. If you guys did not know, Pokemon recently did a Pokemon Snap remake announcement. And the homie Todd is the main character in that game. Which is absolutely funny because they literally just announced it like last week. Which is absolutely crazy. So check this out, man. We got some more Ultra Rares. Some more Holographics. We got some Break Cards. And then we have a very nice Espeon non-Holographic right there. So let's grab another stack and let's see what else we're working with, y'all. We got some more Eeveelutions. Wow, look at this. We literally got a ton of Eeveelutions left and right. And it's not stopping, y'all. It's not stopping. We got a sealed Pikachu promo card. Another sealed Pikachu. And another sealed Pikachu, y'all. I'm telling y'all. $100 for this entire collection. 
Is that the buy of the year or what? I don't know. You tell me. We got a vintage base set to Mr. Mind. We got a black star promo of Dark Persian. That is a very nice card right there. And then we have a ton of GX cards right here. Check that out. A ton of ultra rares. We got a Sigilith, Leafeon, Whimsicott, Persian GX. We got a ton of Evolutions left and right. We got a secret rare warp energy. Followed by Tauros GX. But look at that, bro. We got a secret rare. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I kind of forgot to change out the star of the show as the video went on. But it is what it is, man. That Reshiram, it's a nice card. It deserves to be there. But this is the last amount of cards that we have in this collection. So let's see, man. We got a McDonald's promo card. And we got a Chansey holographic i'm not sure if that's a vintage one or it's from evolutions it kind of looks like it's from evolutions but i don't know i could be wrong you feel me but let's see what else we got guys we got more of these movie cards right here check that out we actually got a decent amount of these movie cards i'm not gonna lie so let's go ahead and put those towards the side and look at all of these code cards guys we got a ton of code cards if you guys want additional code cards just follow your boy on the social medias because I give them out on a daily and I will most definitely give out some code cards. So this Hidden Fates pack right here, or actually, I already revealed the other one. So this one right here is the last one as there's a hair. It's kind of gross. I'm not going to lie. But this is the last Hidden Fates code and code in general I'll give out in this video. If you want more codes, just follow your boy on the social medias and you can definitely get some more but these sealed products looks like they are the final pieces to this collection so let's see guys another pikachu we got ooh, we got a grout on legendary pokemon card check that out man that is a nice one i don't think i've ever owned this card in my entire life i'm not gonna lie to you guys and then we have a naganado gx promo card from Dragon Majesty. So that is the final, final cards for this collection. So ladies and gentlemen, for $100, we got all of these, but we also got this Reshiram PSA card. And on top of that, we got this stack right here of bangers after bangers. And on top of that, guys, on top of these two stacks, we got a third stack of bangers right here check that out literally a third stack of bangers including a secret rare leafy on gx in a beautiful case and on top of these three stacks y'all we got a fourth stack of bangers after bangers y'all and then we got two psa cards one of them being a pristine 10 and on top of that guys we got some Funko Pops, and we also got some of these card sleeves right here, sealed. This was probably the best purchase I ever did in 2020. Literally for $100, we got way more than what we paid for. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but this did come from a very good friend, and I appreciate them 100%. If you guys did enjoy this video, and if you guys have a favorite card that you want to share, leave a comment down below on which card was your most favorite from this collection. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.